Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you how I achieve my softest skin ever, okay? Yes, the skin is skinning. <laughs> now, for anybody who's really looking hard and paying attention, it's about soft skin, not tight skin, okay? Or not skin without cellulite. We still, like, we still working on it, okay? It ain't about that right now. Right now, it's just about the texture of the skin. So if you want to know how to achieve soft legs and hips and body, 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 <laughs> just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. As you can see in today's video, I'm wearing very minimal makeup. And it's really just about skin and glowing skin. I'm literally not even wearing any eyelashes because the last couple of videos that I did, the eyelashes did not understand the assignment, okay? So now they're on punishment. So now I'm gonna just be bald eyes, okay? It's all good. <laughs> it's about the skin today. So let me give y'all a little bit of backstory about how I became so obsessed with soft skin. I wanna say in a video, like a few videos ago, um, I was talking about the most complimented fragrances. And one of my subbies said that's like one of her biggest, like her main compliments, like her favorite compliment. And I agree with that. I also love when people tell me like your skin is soft. And I don't know about the people that you hang out with, but for me, aside from Bay, okay? Like we are gonna get into that a little later. But aside from Bay, people that I know, like they talk with their hands. Like they laugh with their hands. Like, ha <laughs> Girl, you're so funny. Or, oh, look at this. Or, you know what I'm saying? People are always touching me. <laughs> so I always like to know that my skin is soft and people are always complimenting me on my skin or commenting on my skin. Like, damn, your skin is soft. Like, damn, you, you know, you got some soft skin. And I love that because I worked hard to get this skin. So let me tell you. First of all, you know, I grew up in New York and I went to Catholic school. So we wore a uniform. And I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, my uniform, like my skirt came above my knee. It didn't matter if it was a snowstorm outside. <laughs> now, I did wear stockings, okay? In the winter time, we did have to wear stockings. But in the spring, summer, or when it started to get nice outside and we didn't have to wear tights or stockings, my legs were out. And when I tell you my legs were ashy, but it didn't really... It didn't, I don't know. It didn't bother me. Like, I didn't think about it back then. But my mother... And I know she's watching this video. My mother used to get on me all the time about having ashy skin. And why don't I put lotion on my legs? And I'm tall. So you guys know I have a lot of leg, okay? Like, there's a lot of leg to cover. And going to high school, like, having to wake up super early in the morning, um, I would put, you know, lotion on my legs or whatever. But it was a very fast thing. Like, I wasn't allotting enough time to really moisturize my skin. The only time I would really moisturize my skin with my baby oil gel is if I'm going to a dance, like if there's a party or if we going to skate key, like we're going skating or there's some type of an event and it's like spring, summer and my legs or my arms or my skin is going to be out, then I want it to glow. But just on a regular day, Monday through Friday going to school, like my skirt was short. Like I made sure my skirt was short. But my skin was ashy. My skin never recovered from being really dry. So as an adult, although I started to wear, you know, moisturize and use lotions and oils and things, my skin just did not, it was not understanding the assignment until I figured out a way how to make my skin soft. And when I tell you guys, okay, first of all, because I know there's going to be some nutritionist or someone in the comments is gonna tell me about diet and exercise. Now that is very true. Your skin, like your the texture of your skin has a lot to do with your diet, your water intake, how much alcohol you consume, um, whether or not you smoke, but we're not gonna go into any of that today, okay? Today we're gonna talk about my process and my procedures <laughs> and how I achieve very soft skin. And the first thing that I do, guys, the first step in achieving very, very soft skin is exfoliating. This is what works for me. What I do may not necessarily work for everybody, but you can try it, and if it works for you, then kudos, you're gonna have soft skin. Aside from the fact that scrubbing my skin and exfoliating just feels good and it's actually removing the dead skin and improving the texture of my skin when i tell y'all it feels so good 
okay like it feels so good so let me show you my exfoliation tools the first thing is the gloves you guys know it's a broken record at this point i'm always talking about these exfoliation gloves exfoliating gloves that i get from amazon you can get them from the dollar store you can get them anywhere everything that i speak about in this video i am going to have linked in my description box so for those people who don't want to go out and shop Everything is there for your convenience. And for those of you who actually want to help support my channel, the links will be down there for you. So I will have this linked. But guys, let me tell you, the exfoliation gloves, the exfoliating gloves are everything. I don't use a washcloth on my body. That's the first thing. The second thing is I use about two to three body washes. Now, it's very excessive, okay? I never said this routine or my shower routine or my process was simple, quick, and easy. There's nothing simple, quick, and easy about it, but you will get results. And for me, that's what it's all about. The results of having really soft and smooth skin. So it starts with these gloves, guys. And I use... Now, it depends on the body, like the body washes. You guys know, like that's a whole separate video. But we're going to talk about some body washes today that actually give moisture to your skin. So the first one is the Dove Moisture Boost. Guys, this right here is for dry and dehydrated skin. It lathers up really nicely. It feels like, it kind of looks like a lotion, but it lathers up beautifully. You know, use your gloves and really scrub your skin. I mean, I don't want to say really scrub because I don't like... You guys, there's some people who think that this is too harsh for their skin. For me, like, uh, guys, I'm Jamaican. Maybe I have tough skin. I don't know what it is. But this, like, every day does not bother me. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect me. The only place that I use a washcloth is my lady parts. But for my skin, it's going to be this. And this body wash is amazing. Like, you don't necessarily have to use this one. It can be any body wash. But I'm showing you guys this because this is moisture boost. So if you have dry, dehydrated skin, then this is a perfect body wash for you. Now, the gloves are everything, right? But let me show you something. This is called the Eco Tools Bath Cloth. So this is what it comes in. Like, it looks like this when it comes. I got this from Target. This is new. I just wanted to show it to you. Like, see, I haven't used this. I'm not going to show you something that I used already. But I just wanted to show you the texture of this this is like a mesh can you guys see that this is like like crinoline like if you guys like sew or if you have fabric or clothes with like extra layers underneath it like crinoline that's basically what this is guys like literally like you're showering with crinoline or just like some type of a mesh look at that this right here when i tell you listen love the gloves okay love them always want to have them this is my first step but guys when you go in with this onto your skin let me tell you something in about a week or two you guys will notice differences like if you notice like there's some people like the back of their arm right here like this is a telltale sign right here or the back of your legs will be like a little bumpy have more texture this i wish y'all could touch me like can y'all touch me like this is so soft and when I tell you these exfoliating products, like I use scrubs as well, like sugar scrubs. And we're going to talk about those. But guys, you actually have to put a little bit of like more like elbow grease in and really get into your skin and you will have soft skin. I'm telling you, there's no super magic product. You don't have to go to spend hundreds of dollars on a chemical exfoliating whatever peel this that the third you do not have to do that when i'm telling you you can use your favorite soap whatever soap that you want to use and you use a product like this your skin is going to be soft because this is going to strip your skin of all the dead skin cells okay the dead skin cells they build up on your skin guys and you don't even notice it you won't notice it you'll touch yourself and you don't even realize that you know, your skin is rough or your skin is hard until you start to scrub, you know what I mean? And get rid of them. And then you'll see like, wow, like seriously, like it's like a baby's butt right here. Like you don't understand how when Bae touches me and he's just like all over me and he can't get his hands off me and telling me my skin is so soft and just wants to lean on me and rub on me and feel on me. You know what I'm saying? Like that is very satisfying for me because I work very hard to get soft skin so i showed you the two tools must when i tell you this is like 
how much is this y'all like this is probably like less than ten dollars or less than twenty dollars and you get a big bag of them from amazon and i am obsessed and this right here this was i want to say three or four ninety nine from target but guys this you use for 30 days like you use it in the shower you rinse it out and you hang it to dry after 30 days toss it okay guys in like two weeks you're gonna see a difference you're gonna see a difference and feel a difference in your skin as well let me show you something so under my arms like i shave right we're gonna talk about shaving and everything but under my underarms it used to be like two different colors like you guys know like i'm, I'm a brown girl okay and a lot of times you'll see brown girls and under their underarms will be very dark because you're not scrubbing or you're not exfoliating all that is built up dead skin look at that do you see that? There's no filter. It's a little bit dark, you know what I mean? But it's not like, like you guys know, like you've seen some people's underarms and their underarms are very dark. This is all from scrubbing and exfoliating my skin. Definitely scrub your underarms, just scrub your feet, scrub everywhere guys and get rid of the dead skin. And when I tell you, once your skin is soft and supple, it's ready. It's like, okay, bring on the oil, bring on the moisture, you know what I mean? And then the moisture just sucks onto your skin, it absorbs into your skin. And once you add your fragrance, okay, once you add your fragrance, hear me out, it is not going anywhere because the moisture from your skin is holding on to that juice, okay? I'm telling you guys, trust me when I tell you. Okay, so we spoke about the tools. So let me show you some more moisture products for the shower. So this is Olay. This is from their Moisture Ribbons line. This one is the um, Manuka Honey. The shea and manuka honey like i don't know if you can see like the ribbons like the moisture ribbons in this it's almost like body wash and lotion like layered on top of each other and mix into one into one body wash and this is everything so like i said this is a honey scent it's not super strong in scent but it does smell good but it's the moisture it's how it actually helps your skin to just like drink your skin is just drinking up all the moisture guys this is an excellent product along with the dove something else that i want to show you this is a, a moisture boost pre-cleanse from dove this actually goes with this so these two together so you use this first and then this and then i you know like i don't use one body wash i use sometimes two to three body washes because i'm extra and i do love the scent of you know like my scented fruity frou -frou la la body washes but these two guys go together like white on rice <laughs> or chicken and gravy i don't know but this is definitely great and this is great as well guys it's like a it's basically like conditioning your skin you know what i mean like once you rinse this off your skin just looks so glistening and glowy although then you're gonna go in with your body wash you know what i mean because this is a pre-cleanse now the last one i want to show you is another olay product this is like an after cleanse like after you've washed and exfoliated and you've shaved and you have used your sugar scrub and everything that you've done in the shower this right here is great it's upside down this right here is great because it's also going to add more moisture to your skin because here's the thing when you're in the shower and like for me like they suggest dermatologists suggest not using very hot water now my water is not scolding hot like i'm not the devil so i can't take very very hot water but my water is very very warm okay it's not lukewarm it's more on the hotter side but it's not like scolding hot now that actually dries out your skin especially as long as you stay in the shower as i do i'm in the shower for at least 30 minutes i'm using my gloves i'm using my um my african cloth or what is it what what is the name of this y'all it's a bath cloth okay we're just gonna call it a bath cloth today so after i've used my bath cloth and my gloves and my sugar scrubs and this that and the third like that can really sometimes that can suck the moisture out of your skin if you're not using moisturizing products you know what i mean so this will just like lock everything back into your skin and once you come out the shower your skin feels like you've put lotion on it but it's not really a lotion like it's not an in shower lotion those people can use those you know and i used to use those when i was younger but honestly i just i have to change my towel too much that's the thing every day i have to change my towel when i use those moisturizing um 
lotions or when I use oil because after I put the oil on my wet skin and I'm patting my skin dry I'm not gonna use that towel again tomorrow so that's the only reason why I don't like the in shower moisturizing body products like the oils and things this you're using as if like another body wash and you're rinsing this off your body feels very soft and it leaves like a nice glowy like almost like a nice film like a nice um sheen to your skin you know what I mean so this is a really good product as well so now that we've showered and we've exfoliated, like your skin is now becoming soft, but you have to shave. Now, that's a controversial thing I've noticed with people. Like I read comments, you guys in my comments, I shave once a week. Now, I'm not a hairy person, but I still grow hair. Now, when the hair is coming up, like you feel like a little stubble or like little baby fine hair is coming up, that's gonna make your skin feel not soft. So I wanna get rid of that hair and I'm shaving. Now, I don't necessarily have like a particular razor that I use. This one, uh, I don't even know what brand is this, Top Care, but it has three blades. So for me, guys, the more blades, the better. Like I have razors that have six blades, five blades, four blades. I don't go less than three blades. Like anything less than three, I'm not even buying it because the more blades you have, the more surface it'll cover the more deep down it'll get to like all the hairs and it'll remove all the hairs because you don't necessarily have to see the hair you know what I mean first of all you need to shave after exfoliating your skin that gets your skin prepped to actually have the hair removed and I didn't bring them in here with me I use shave oils I have my shave oils from tree hut and I also use the dove body wash mousse it's a body wash and it lathers but I don't use it to necessarily get me clean it's just something so luxurious for me it feels so good like to have this beautiful soft thick cloud of foam all over your skin you know what i mean it feels so good it does lather but i also love to shave with it as well it makes your skin feel so super soft so shaving for me is a must and like i said once a week so next i wanted to show you two sugar scrubs that are amazing now, one of them is by Origins. It's the Origins Ginger Body Scrub. Now, this, guys, it has a more, like, harsh texture. It's not like the Tree Hut Scrubs. Like, I feel like the Tree Hut Scrubs, I use those every day, like, multiple times a day. I take two showers a day, not three. I take two showers a day, and I use the Tree Hut Scrubs each and every time I shower. It depends on which kind of shower routine I'm doing, what I want to smell like, but more than likely, I'm using them at least twice a day. Now, this one is a little more harsh so i wouldn't use this one every day first of all the scent if you love ginger it's like coming out of it right now you need this okay if you love ginger you need this this also has an oil in it let me show you the consistency can you see that it has like i don't want to i don't want it to spill but it's very runny it kind of leaves your skin looking like you buffed it <laughs> But it's an amazing product. Now, this, I want to say, retails for about $20, $25, maybe $30. I'm not sure. Like I said, it's going to be linked. But let me show you one that has me in a chokehold. And when I tell you guys, I'm eating crow. Okay, so this Aroma Oasis is from Bath & Body Works. Now, when I got this, this scent is pineapple, lime, and eucalyptus. When I got this, guys, it was sealed. So I couldn't see the consistency. I did see like a little bit of runny oil in here, but it, I, I, I didn't realize it was that much because you also see the oil running in here. But, you know, it's not that much oil, but you definitely see the oil in here. So when I use this, I went to use it with a pineapple and lime routine. And when I tell y'all, when I took the seal off, I was like, oh, I'm never buying this again. I was so annoyed because it looked like just pure oil was in here. Let me show you. you you're not even going to be able to see it because I, I think I went too far down in using it. But guys, it's literally like so much oil in here. This, after this video, I'm going to Bath and Body Works and I'm going to buy like five or four more because this is the truth. When I tell y'all, first of all, the exfoliating beads are, it's like a, it's a sugar scrub, but it has jojoba oil. That's the oil that's in here. But the exfoliating beads, guys, are so thick. And when you're using it, it's melting into your skin into an oil. Hello, guys, this in the summertime is perfect because for me, 
I don't use a lot of oils in the day when I'm going out in the summertime because I'm not trying to fry myself, you know what I mean? I use oils at night. As soon as I come out the shower, I'm patting down myself and then I'm going to go in with an oil. That's another thing that may be controversial for some people. Some people use a lotion first and then an oil. I use an oil first because that's gonna be the most moisturizing. And for me, like I feel like my skin needs all the moisture it can get, especially after such a vigorous shower routine, you know what I mean? So with a product like this, I don't need the oil. So this is something that I'm gonna use only in the daytime, not at night. I mean, I could use it at night and just like put oil on top of oil, but this already leaves your skin oily, guys. Not oily. It leaves your skin moisturized. It looks like you've put oil on your skin, but you have not. Guys, it's the jojoba oil in the scrub. So once you use this and you rinse off, that oil is still on your skin. And when I tell y'all the glow, the scent, I was like... <sighs> Bath and Body Works, is that what we doing? Noted. You, guys, when I tell you, when this video is over, I'm going to buy four or five or six more of this. I need this always. It's everything. And I think this was like $10, $13. It wasn't that pricey, but I just love how it did my skin. Because like I said, in the summertime, in the day when I'm going out, I'm not putting oil on my skin because I'm not trying to fry. Now, in terms of the moisturizing lotions and body creams that I use, in the summer especially, Josie Marin. Now, this one right here, this isn't going to give you, this gives you a glow from within. It's not going to give you that Keisha from Belly Glow. It's not a shiny, oily type of consistency, but this is the real MVP, okay? It just gives you a nice, beautiful, healthy glow. In the summertime, if you don't want to have a lot of oil on you, like if you're going to be out and it's a really hot day, you don't want anything that's gonna make you feel like you're going to melt, okay? Like, we're melting, we're melting. Like, no, we're not trying to turn into witches over here. So Josie Marin's, um, what is this called? The Whipped Argan Oil. Guys, it's everything. It has argan oil infused in it, but it's not gonna give you, like I said, that greasy. It's not gonna give you the glow like the, um, the Fenty Butter Drop. This is something that I like to wear at night when we're going out, like in the evening when the sun is down. See, here's the thing. You have to know when to wear certain moisturizers, when to wear certain oils. If I know the sun is down, right, then I could do something like this. We're going out at night. The light is going to be shining on me. Or if it's like in the daytime, but it's not too hot, it's not like in the 90s or anything like that, maybe like 70s, 80s, it's kind of cool. And then I'm gonna go like into an air conditioned environment, then something like this will work because this melts into a beautiful oil on your skin. This is everything as well. Another one I wanna show you by Kiehl's. Now this has like a more gourmand, like honey, soy milk type of scent. But, and however, I use this with all my fragrances. It does have that light scent though. But like I said, it's very, it's faint enough that you can get away with wearing whatever fragrance on top of this. When I tell you the consistency of this, see guys with me, it's all about consistency. Like I just love, a like this whipped consistency, it feels so light and airy, almost like you're rubbing a cloud on you and it just melts away and it's just easy to rub in. I love a cream that's easy to rub in. Now, let me talk about, I don't have it here, but my Delina body cream, I swear by that guys, like that cream right there, it smells amazing and I use it mainly for the scent. But guys, that cream takes at least 10 minutes for me to rub it into my skin because it's white and then you're like rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. But it's worth it because the scent is very potent and that's why I use it. Not really for moisturizing my skin, but anything that's gonna just melt away into my skin within seconds understands the assignment, okay? <laughs> so... Oh, you know what? I want to show you this one too. So this is from Trader Joe's. This is the coconut body butter. And you don't only have to wear this with coconut, but this is a very beautiful consistency. It's a nice thick body butter, but it's whipped. Another whipped one that just melts away into the skin. It's the melting into the skin for me, okay? Now, let me talk about my real ride or die MVP. And I feel like you guys know. And it's her right here. My Eucerin. Now, this Eucerin, guys, this is like 
a body butter and an oil in one for very dry skin guys but you don't want to feel oily but your skin looks like you have oil on it and it looks like you're glowing but you're not feeling oily or greasy this is something that you can put on with like a sheer or silk outfit it's not gonna like make your clothes stain or anything like that because that's another thing you have to keep in mind when you're wearing certain garments and which kind of routine you're gonna use which kind of products you're gonna use because you don't want anything to soil your clothes now this right here in my hand with any of my nest oils is a vibe okay i don't know what it is about the consistency of the eucerin but guys once i put my fragrance in it my fragrance oil in it it lasts all day it latches onto your skin it does not go anywhere i am obsessed this is a must in my collection now so after we've moisturized our skin is soft it's a nice sunny day we want to glisten we want to glow and the dead skin is removed from your skin so your skin is actually at a place where it can nicely shine and gleam and glisten so this right here is my mac iridescent loose powder and this is golden bronze guys when i tell you once your skin is nicely moisturized and a little oily and greasy <laughs> but greasy in a good way now you're gonna use this, right? You're already dressed. I got this tip from working on film sets. Like this is what the makeup artists do when they're putting the glisten and glow on the actor or the actress or the artist. It can be like someone about to perform. They're gonna use a brush like this, like a makeup brush like this. They dip it in, knock it off a little bit and just go in with the little shimmer. Just a little healthy shimmer, a little healthy glow. Guys. Do you see that? Let me put a little bit more. Cause we shining like we about to go perform on stage, honey. It's the Coachella for me. <laughs> and then you get this one right here. Do you see that? In the summertime guys, or whenever you're wearing off the shoulder, this is a must. So definitely guys, exfoliating your skin, making sure the dead skin is gone, improving the texture of your skin is going to give you soft skin. And once your skin is nice and soft and moisturized and greased up and oiled up and you put some nice little shimmer on your shoulders and your collarbone and the back of your neck and just anywhere where your skin is out and you're gonna gleam and glisten and glow. Guys, you're gonna feel so good about yourself. Your skin is gonna look beautiful. You're gonna get compliments on your skin. I mean, a fragrance compliment, you guys know, like that's everything, but a compliment that you have soft skin because like I said, soft skin is not easy to achieve. Some people don't have the time. Some people won't allot the time. So if you allot the time to actually exfoliate and take the time to do your skin right guys you will not ever look back trust me so we've come to the end of the video leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your steps that you take to have soft skin let's talk about it let's share with each other because i can learn from you you can learn from me and also people that's reading the comments can learn as well so remember guys to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video Peace.